Yo, 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 what's up guys? Brian coming at you. Hey, so I just put out a video about me graduated from 10,000 small businesses. Thank you for the positive responses. I appreciate it. Uh, a little tired here, but I wanted to answer a question from my man, Stephen Chung. Uh, he was asking me, what did I learn from the Goldman Sachs um, 10,000 small businesses program? Um, so the biggest things I took away uh, from the amazing, amazing program, very difficult. It's, it's a lot of work if you get into it. Um, but what I learned was, uh, biggest thing, number one is networking and what that means and how important it is. There were about 50, uh, successful business owners, not startups, but people who've had businesses for a while who are doing very, very well. Um, and I learned that the biggest thing uh, one of the biggest lessons I took away is just how important it is to, to network. And by networking, I don't mean just going to a networking function and saying, hey, what do you do for business? Or oh, this is what I do. But I learned just talking to people, you know, uh, it's so big. It's somewhat of a weakness of mine, you know, just uh, getting to know new people, getting to know a lot of people. But I got to know, you know, 50 different business owners. And it was really cool to just talk as people, you know, and it motivated and inspired me to start talking to people within my industry. I teach breaking. I have a breaking school in the Los Angeles, Orange County area. And so it really motivated and inspired me to just reach out to other people who are doing things uh, like I am. And so just, and not even to say, Hey, what are you doing? And things like that, but just to get to know people. And that is so important. It seems like, oh, yeah, networking. But it, it's really big just getting to know people and being yourself and being authentic, right? I think the second thing is how important it is to have a mission, uh, a mission for your business and an end goal, right? Whether that's to sell your business or whether that's to pass it on. It's so important to start with the end in mind. And somebody like me, I kind of started Bootstrap, my, my company, you know, from scratch. And I was like, hey, I'm just going to work till I'm old or work till whatever. And we all kind of say that, but doing a business is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And you really need to know what your end game is, right? <laughs> like the exit, the people, the official term is exit strategy. I don't like to hear that word because I'm like, oh, I'm never exiting, but we're all exiting. You're, you're going to change. And that exit doesn't have to be like you retire and move to Hawaii or something, but they can be like, hey, I want to do this for X amount of years and I want to achieve this goal. That is very important to understand where you're going. So you don't just spin your wheels. Like in my business, for instance, I wanted to replace the income I was making from computer science. That was kind of my big thing. I hit that goal within like about five, six years in, you know, maybe a little bit less. And I feel like I kind of plateaued for a little bit because I hit that goal, but I didn't set another goal, right? And so it's really important to understand where you want to go. And I feel like the course gave me a, a good idea of where I need to go. And when you have that goal, it, it really motivates you to take more risks, to do more things that are um, to like just to do more things that are outside of you, right? To take more chances and to do bigger things and to set bigger goals because you know where you want to go. Very simple stuff, but when you're in a class and other people are talking about it, you're like, oh man, that's 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 big. The third thing, um, which is kind of a far third from the top two, but just knowing your numbers, you know, we all know how important it is to know your numbers, but I think getting in a class and seeing the numbers for your business, the back end is really, really huge. You know, when you see the num the numbers of your business can tell you so much about it, it helps you make decisions, you know, and that's so common knowledge, right? But until you sometime you get in the class, you sit in, you sit down and you think about it, because as business owners, we're constantly running around and doing all this stuff. We don't look at the numbers uh, as deeply as we really need to. But numbers, oh my lord, like I, I see how these big CEOs, you buy a business, you don't have to talk to anybody. You say, oh, just just give me the paper. You know, let me see the balance sheet. You look at it and you're like, oh, no, this is not good. You don't even have to know what the product is. And I understand how CEOs make those decisions. I can look at Shark Tank now. And and when I when they ask certain questions, I'm like, oh, that's why they're asking that. Or, oh, man, 
this makes no sense. This business is not bankable, right? Percentages and profit margins and, um, you know, assets and just different things like that. Knowing about this stuff is extremely powerful. So those are the biggest things I got from it. It was an amazing program. Uh, if you, uh, you know, have your business established and you want to really take it to the next level and really network with some good folks, I would definitely recommend signing up. Shout out to Vicky. Thank you so much for recommending this to me. Um, she is the business owner of Inspire Arts and she recommended for me to take this program and I applied, got in and um, it was a great experience. All right, y'all. Peace.